McGregor! It's a goal for Celtic! Oh, what a goal! Callum McGregor! And a Callum McGregor has found the net for Celtic! It's a oh, mark of the net! Callum McGregor! Callum, we've got the, the iPad, we're here to have a look through your biggest moments in your Celtic career. Let's start off with your debut. It's obviously like brilliant just to, to first of all make my debut. Brilliant, you know, coming through the academy um, to, to make your debut, dream come true. And I think I've spoken about a wee bit about this before that Ronnie kind of showed a bit of faith in me, just keeping me on um, sort of later in the game. Um, we, we sort of made a change and he just pushed me over to the right hand side and you can obviously see there um, the boys do well to sort of camp them in and I've got a 1v1 uh, on the edge of the box nice and positive um, and take them into the box and I kind of look up and see a, a sort of corner of the goal and just try my luck and you know if you don't shoot then you don't score obviously it takes a, a little bit of a deflection which, which takes it in at the near post um, but Amazing feeling, um, and, and obviously brilliant to cap your debut with a goal, winning goal as well. So the next one we've got is your first league goal, came a few weeks later. Yeah, the same, like, to, to sort of cap, you know, the, the performance with a goal. I think when you first break into the team, you're trying to, you're trying to do everything you can to impress, and you try to hit these little milestones if you can, kind of get your first goal. Um, obviously, I was playing a, a bit higher up. Um, in the team at that time, um, so it allowed me to get more obviously opportunities. But then you're, you're also judged on the amount of goals that you score and, and assists and things like that. So, got to thank the goalie for that. You know, the goalie obviously so sort of, it's got a part to play in the goal. Um, but just similar, like I was in, a, I feel like I was in a good vein of form at that point, and I just felt me at the edge of the box. Um, again, you don't shoot, you don't score. So I'm happy for that one to go in as well. We can see the delayed reaction there. Um, but again, another another good night, three points, and nice to cap it with a goal. So it's now 2017, Callum, Brendan Rodgers is the manager. It's Hamden Park, Scottish Cup semi-final against Rangers, your first goal in that fixture. Tell us a bit about this goal and, of course, the actual sound of the goal. Did you hear it on the day? Obviously, the next couple of days after it, you, you, you hear the, the sort of playback of the goal and it just has that nice little nestling sound when it, when it hits the net and, you know, it's a nice... That's almost a pass into the goal, but um, you know, brilliant. Obviously, a big game. Uh, I think that was semi final of the Scottish Cup. So to get the nod to play in the team was was excellent and similar. Just arriving into the box. Um, I spoke about this before as well. I thought I was going to play it wide, but just as I look up, I can I see half the goal um, and just use the defender as a shield. And, and like you said, that that kind of noise when it nestles into the back of the net is. Is something you'll never get tired of hearing. You go to Ibrox six days later for one of the most memorable Glasgow Derby victories, a 5-1 victory, you played your part, so talk us through this and of course the fixture uh, itself. Obviously a, a successful time for us, um, coming off the back of the, the cup win, you know, many times you get the chance to go there six days later, sort of full of confidence and we had a good result and I think we could feel that. Um, as a group that in that day we went there and, and we felt good about it. Obviously scored pretty early on um, and then you know you see by the end of the game that was sort of rampant but again just picking up a nice little pocket of space, um, try to play the through one, obviously comes back to me um, and then I just try to find the right moment to, to get the shot off and um, the sort of little chop and, and it goes through his legs and, and you find that with a lot of goals that sometimes when they go through the legs it, it leaves the keeper with no chance and it was uh, luckily it did that on the day, but um, brilliant supporters as well. Um, you know, looking back there, that's, that's one of the, the memories with the, with the full stand. Um, you know, we played a lot in this fixture recently with, without the, the full stand there, um, and you know, it's nice to have a look back on that. And, and you remember the noise coming to the support that day. It was a real sort of iconic day for the club. Scoreline, performance, um, cap away a goal, obviously, but. It's, these are the moments that we want to give the supporters that that will last forever with them, and and certainly last forever in, in our memories as well. So um, definitely a special day. The season culminates at Hamden Park, Aberdeen in the Scottish Cup final, first chance for a treble in 16 years. 
Yeah, it was. It was. Um, like you said, first time in, in 16 years with the chance to do it as a club, so it, it felt like a huge moment. Um, felt like almost the, the season was riding on that at, at that point, even though we had got two, two trophies already. Um, we obviously didn't do it the easy way. We go behind. Um, good strike for Johnny there, but once he joined us, we, we gave him a bit for that one. Um, but I think which was good about it was we got back into the game really quickly after that. Um, you see there Stuart sort of picks up my semi-pass tackle um, and he puts in a great finish but that gets his level in the game and I think everybody at that point sort of take a deep breath and right, okay, let's start to play a football and and uh, we were sort of strong for the rest of the game and, and like you say, a huge, huge um, moment for the club to, to go and secure the treble for the first time in, in 16 years, like you said, it's it was an incredible feat to do it as an invincible. Um, just shows you the, the amount of hard work, dedication, sacrifice, little bits of luck on the way as well. Um, but big players standing up in big moments and, and ultimately, you know, we, we, we give the supporters and ourselves another special memory to, to treasure forever. 2017-18, two big European goals for you, one in the Champions League and one in the Europa League? Yeah, um, again these nights are, are special, um, you get to welcome the, the, the big teams from all around the world and you know there's nothing better as a player to, to test yourself against these guys and when Celtic Park gets up and you know you, you actually just look at that there, you can remember the, the noise still to this day, it's, it's absolutely deafening and um, to, to give again the supporters these memories and, and, and yourself as well, first Champions League goal. Uh, James, he plays a lovely little sort of dink pass and through, and they just tried to, to keep it on target, um, which which thankfully ended up in the net. But again, here the, the Zenit one was probably a more sort of cultured finish, which was which was nice. But um, again, I think another big team coming to, to Celtic Park. I think we played really well this night. Actually, um, deserved to to win the game and, and probably overall in the time. But disappointed we, we probably didn't make it through, but. I thought we played really, really well that night and, and obviously yeah, just, just you know, touch and finish was rolling back the years that. I um, don't know if I can get my leg that high now, but it was uh, it was, a, it was a good finish. So I'll be in the top corner, which was good. Um, but again, another sort of special um, memory for myself and, and for the supporters. Um, it's, it's always good to look back on these things. That season, the Scottish Cup final at Hamden Park. Always a, a dream, I would imagine, to score in a cup final. Yeah, it's... Obviously, I think when you when you think about the Scottish Cup, you, you think sun, end of the season, pitch is perfect, and and to, to cap it with a goal, then I think the strikes were getting better and better as the season went on there, um, which was nice, all right foot as well. Um, again, another special moment, um, but to, to go and repeat the, the treble obviously was was superb. Um, takes a, a different way to do it, a wee bit probably more resilient in terms of performances and, and results throughout the season, but to, to go and lift all three trophies again is is a special thing to do, um, considering it, it took us 16 years to do two, and then took us, we did two in two years. Um, so I think that's that's special, it shows you it was a special group of players, um, really in the, the kind of peak of their powers, which is brilliant. The, the memories here, like I said, it always stays with me, and then even the, the open top bus, as you just seen now as well. Um, Tell us about that. Special, special day. Um, again, something that'll live with me forever. I, I can, I can always picture it. I can always remember it. Um, I mean, you do special things in football. You, you get these rewards and, and and you deserve them as well. But I think the experience helped us. And then to go and, and do another one. Again, the big moments get easier because you've been there before, you've experienced them before. Um, you can draw on the experience that you had the previous year, um, and, that, and it probably ultimately helped us, um, you know, with that winning mentality and the difficult moments probably in the next couple of seasons as well. Scott Brown leaves Celtic, and you become captain of Celtic. Tell us, Callum, how much did that moment mean to you and the time to become the leader of your own squad? Obviously, firstly, Scott did a, an amazingly Good job, um, iconic legend in his in his own right. Um, so firstly, I had a brilliant teacher, um, and, and and what that would look like. To obviously hand it over um, was a really special moment for me, really special moment for, for everyone in my family. 
um, really proud moment and, and then obviously you know you, you've got to get to work and, and you've got to be successful so of course a huge amount of pressure passes with that as well you know it's another learning job but it's something that I'm enjoying. It's your first trophy as captain Hamden Park Hibernian December 2021 you tell us about the occasion the day what it meant for the rest of the season. Yeah um, you know I think right up to this point we'd made good strides as a, as a group um, and then this is the the sort of big test, you know, can you can you put it together in a big pressure situation um, and, and handle it and, and, and be victorious at the end of the game. Obviously a game we go one behind, I think maybe with 20 minutes to go, I think it's something like that. So again it shows the character of the group, but in your first final, you know, it's always nervy, it's always edgy and, and to go behind and then come back in the fashion that we did, um, obviously straight to kick off there, it was, it was something we had worked on. And, in previous games and, and thankfully it comes off in a big moment. I think, I believe, I speak about that in the book, it's, it's about trusting the process and, and having belief in yourself and in and, and the squad of players um, in the most vital moments and I feel that that gets you success if you stick to that. Um, the second one here, quick restart over the top, um, obviously we speak about it all the time. We come alive in, in the moments where the ball goes dead and, and we try and gain an advantage there. So. Um, yeah, all in all, a, a brilliant day. Um, again, high pressure situation for a new group of players was was brilliant to come out of it and obviously give us our first trophy as a group. Um, felt like that really stood us in good stead for, for moving on and, and I think you know winning and success becomes a habit. So I think the quicker you can get into that, then you know the the, the more it helps you. And to get the chance to come back and, and 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 get one of your trophies back, then of course it means everything to you. So. I think you can see that in my face and my emotion. I think you can see it in the supporters as well. Um, how desperate they were for success after obviously not having any trophies the season before. Um, then this club's built on winning, so we have to keep as many trophies as we can for as long as we can. We go to Thanedice next. It's the culmination of the season last season. That day, you know, you've got the title back. How did it feel to be a champion once again? Yeah, brilliant. Again, different sort of feeling because you're. It's a combination of your whole season's work. Um, you know, you, you have to be pretty much perfect. It comes from your daily habits. It comes from everything that you, you do throughout the year. Um, it's not a, a sort of cup final moment where the whole elation of, of that is, is all in one day. Um, like I said, it's a combination of all your work throughout the year, um, accumulation of all your points, and, and obviously in the difficult moments throughout the season, you you piece them together and you become champions then it, it means everything because it's it's everything you've sacrificed, your, your families, your teammates, everybody at the club, um, the supporters, so it's a whole sort of team effort right throughout the year um, and I don't think there's any better feeling than, than winning the league. How did it feel to lift the trophy? Brilliant, um, to, to obviously get it back, um, to lift it for the first time as captain, you know it's, it has its own significance as well but um, Firstly, just you know, I get the privilege to lift it um, for the sort of first person of the, of, the, of the club and the supporters to lift it. But again, it's it's everyone's trophy. It's the supporters. It's the it's it's everybody who works at the club, Celtic Park here, everywhere. Um, the players, like I said, it's a, it's a real team effort and a, and a combination of everyone's sacrifice. We move on to this season. You're back in the Champions League, but you got an injury, a first real injury in a long time. Tell us, how did you come through that and ultimately your, your comeback at Pataudry? Yeah, of course, difficult moment. Um, I've been sort of lucky enough that I've managed to avoid these as, as much as possible. Um, but, you know, sometimes that's football, you, you get injured. And I think you, you take a few days to, to get your head around it. The, the medical staff are really good. Um, the manager as well they gave me a few days just to, to get my head around it. And, and then when I came back to work, I was had a different focus. I was trying to get back fit. Um, and, and still try and help the team as much as I could, obviously not being on the pitch, but, but trying to help them. Um, and I thought the boys did you know, ever so well, um, really stuck together, um, stuck to my principles and my football and, and obviously managed to stretch the lead and, and sort of gave me that time to recover and, and come back and obviously first came back here, um, you know, probably couldn't have, have marked it any better really for, for myself to come back and score. Um, in the last minute, which was brilliant, but it would have been nice if we'd have made it a bit more comfortable for ourselves. But um, I thought they played really well on the day as well. You know, a lot of a lot of possession, 
Um, first game back after the break, you know, it's probably a little bit of rustiness in there in, in terms of the stuff in front of the goal. But I feel like since then we've we've really picked up again and shown that composure, um, especially in the final third, scoring a lot of goals and and now um, adding clean sheets and, and really sort of honing in on our principles as well. And just finally, 400 appearances for this club. What does it mean to you to hit that milestone? And of course, there'll be more milestones possibly to hit as well. Yeah, I hope so. Um, obviously a nice little marker. Um, 400 is a lot of games, especially for this football club. You know, there's, there's such a high demand for, for performance and and everything that you do in your life, you know, you're really sort of scrutinised and, and you, you've got to take it with you and you've got to carry it with you. So there's a lot goes into having a, a long career and and, uh, and being successful at Celtic. So it's something that I'm proud of, obviously, um, to, to get this far. Um, I'm hungry for more. Um, I think, you know, people who, who know me and have probably heard me speak a lot of the time now can tell that, you know, I'm, I'm desperate to do more. Um, I always want to improve and, and always want to give more for this club. Um, they've been brilliant to me and, and my family um, throughout the years and, and all I want to do is repay that as much as I possibly can. So, um, excellent to, to hit that milestone but you know, I, I keep my head down and, and keep working hard and, and, and staying humble and, and hopefully there's more to come.